The Russian Ministry of Defense shared footage of the West Group's Grad Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS, targeting and destroying a Ukrainian armed forces stronghold. The artillery team carried out the strike with precision, hitting military facilities, defensive positions, and Ukrainian troop concentrations. The attack forms part of a larger Russian campaign involving day and night artillery assaults on various Ukrainian targets. Russian military intelligence operatives from the center group were seen conducting ambushes and reconnaissance missions in the Krasnoarmeysk direction, capturing Ukrainian positions in their line of sight. As part of Russia's ongoing offensive, the scouts deployed round-the-clock maneuvers to locate and neutralize Ukrainian posts. The ministry celebrated their efforts on Russia's Military Intelligence Day. In footage released by the Russian Ministry of Defense, a K-52M helicopter operated by a mixed tactical Russian team took out Ukrainian military personnel and armored vehicles near the Kursk border. The attack showcases Russia's use of air power to support ground units and counter Ukrainian defenses along the northern border. A tactical video clip highlights the destruction of a Ukrainian armed forces vehicle by an FPV drone operated by the Russian North Group in the Kharkiv region. The footage demonstrates Russia's increasingly strategic application of drone technology in the ongoing conflict, with drone strikes becoming integral to operations in contested areas. Artillery units from Russia's North Group successfully destroyed a Ukrainian armed forces stronghold and nearby personnel in the border region of Kursk. The Grad MLRS once again showcased its effectiveness in sustaining heavy bombardments, underscoring Russia's intent to keep pressure on Ukrainian forces in border areas. Another video segment highlights the use of FPV drones by Russia's North Group to dismantle Ukrainian armored vehicles in Kharkiv. The deployment of these drones underlines an intensified drone warfare approach in contested zones, allowing Russian forces to engage Ukrainian assets from a distance with significant impact. <laughs>